My name is Dr. Syed Naveed Azum. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist at Columbia Asia Hospital in Hebal. Depending on the type of IBD, whether it's Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, your doctor will be able to give you a detailed instructions as to what to do with diet, what medicines to take, what lifestyle changes to make, and how you would be required to follow up with the doctor, the treating doctor. Okay. So let's talk about medicines first. Generally speaking, there is usually a short course of steroids, which is given for about four to six weeks, and then the uh, treating doctor will switch over to another type of medicines which controls the immunity okay in addition to this there is also an anti-inflammatory medicine that is available for ulcerative colitis and in some cases of Crohn's disease too so these are medicines that would continue for a fairly long period of time to make sure that the uh, IBD is controlled and the patient remains in remission the other thing to look out is diet diet plays an important role and while I cannot go into the details about what the dietary changes are required, uh, a dietitian and your treating doctor will be able to guide you uh, whenever you see them in the outpatients or in the hospital to take a detailed dietary history and modify it according to your condition and it depends on whether you have small bowel disease or a larger, large intestine disease or both. Lifestyle changes are also important in Crohn's disease which means that you know people who smoke tend to have worse, Crohn's, worse outcomes in Crohn's disease. Uh, so it is very important that people stop smoking in general, which is bad as it is, but in patients with Crohn's disease, it is particularly important to give up smoking. Sometimes when medicines do not give adequate relief of symptoms and adequate cure or adequate improvement in the disease, surgery will be required. Uh, as I said before, in ulcerative colitis, a total removal of the large intestine can be curative. However, in Crohn's disease also, sometimes surgery is required to treat strictures or fistulae or any complications that occur from failure of medical treatment.